Hi, Jason Ganahl at TQ Barbecue. Are you looking for a go-to beef and bean chili recipe that's gonna satisfy every one of your heart's desires? If so, it's coming up right now. Here at GQ Barbecue, we are all about the grilling and chilling lifestyle. If that's something that interests you, smash down that subscription button and hit that bell notification and you won't miss any of our videos. The star of today's chili video is smoked ground beef, beans, and fresh ingredients. In the past, I've made chili videos that were championship competition chili recipes. And what's unique about those recipes is that there's very strict rules and competitions to what you can and cannot use. You're not allowed to use fresh ingredients and you're also not allowed to use beans. If you wanna see those recipes, go ahead and click the playlist right there. However, we're veering off the path today. We're not cooking a competition recipe. We're cooking something that you can make for your family and friends that's gonna satisfy all of their cravings. We're gonna get a little bit of heat from the peppers. We're gonna get some good beefy flavor from the ground beef. And we're gonna get all kinds of flavor from the different spices. We're gonna cook the ground beef on the Gateway Drum Smoker today, hot and fast. I'm gonna target a temperature anywhere between 300 and 350 degrees. Once I get up into that zone, just over 300 degrees, I'm gonna clamp down these valves that's about 25% open on both sides. And I'm gonna clamp down the top to about 50%. For a beef and bean chili, I'm gonna be using 80-20 ground beef. I'm gonna smash it down into this aluminum pan. I'm smashing it down so we can create as much surface area as possible so the smoke will stick to it. If I put it in one giant clump, it's not gonna get as smoky. I'm gonna season it up using GQ Barbecue The Rub. I'm gonna chop up two large yellow onions, being sure to cut them up into small pieces. I don't like getting big chunks of onion, so I like to dice them up really small. If you like big chunks, leave yourself big chunks. The chili, today I'm gonna to be using both jalapenos and serranos. Most grocery stores have habaneros, so if you really wanna kick it off, get you one of those little orange devils, slice it up and put it in there to bring that extra heat. For the jalapenos, I wanna keep the seeds. That's where all the heat is. I'm gonna chop this up. We're gonna reserve about four or five of these, or however many guests you have coming over, you can use one of these slices for a garnish on top of your bowl later. For the garlic, grab anywhere from eight to 12, eight big ones or 12 small ones. Mince them up nice and fine. Our meat appears to be done. I'm not at all worried about the temperature here. I'm just going solely for color because this is going to cook in a pot for a good hour or so. So if there's any meat that hasn't come up to temp, which is 165, it's surely going to come up to temp during the cook. But I can tell by looking at this, this is all probably already 165. Got good color all around. It's going to be some really good smoke flavor in this ground beef. I'm going to remove this from the heat and drain off all this grease. I'm going to be using a Dutch oven. I got this one at Costco. Anything you have that's gonna stand up to that hot heat from the pit will work. First thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of oil. I've got some canola oil here just to coat the bottom. To that, we'll add the onions. We're gonna be adding spices later, so I'm not worried about seasoning the onions right now. We're gonna let those go for about six or seven minutes until they get nice and soft. So these onions have been cooking for about five minutes, not quite where I want them to be, so I'm gonna go ahead and give them a stir, let them go for another two or three minutes. Got some good browning on these onions. I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic, and I'm also gonna add the peppers, the jalapenos and the serranos. I'm gonna let these guys go for a little while till they get that browning action before we add the next batch of ingredients. That browning is important because it really brings out the flavor and adds some good texture. Got some good browning taking place, so I'm gonna go ahead and add back that smoked ground beef. Break that up. Check that out. You can even see a smoke ring. How often do you see that on ground beef? You can see the smoke ring coming through. Pretty cool. Now, so our beef and veggie mixture's been going for a couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add two ounces of chili powder. Two tablespoons of ground cumin and one teaspoon of sweet paprika. And then gonna add 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, including the juice. And then gonna add 14 ounces of beef broth. 
stirring it to get everything incorporated. If I come across any big chunks of ground beef, I'm gonna break those up. I'm gonna add in our beans now. I've got a can of black beans and a can of kidney beans. Stir those guys in, cover, and let it cook for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna stir it every 15 to 20 minutes. This looks like you can use a little bit more juice. Go ahead and add some more beef broth if you need to. Oh yeah. So this bad boy's been cooking here for probably about 40, 45 minutes. Couple things you can do. I don't see a whole lot of fat here, but if there's some fat, you can just skim some of that off the top and get rid of that. Look at that, that is looking very good. I've got some hungry people here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and make some bowls, but this tastes better the longer you allow it to cook. Uh, if I were to give this another probably 30 to 45 minutes, I think that would be ideal. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this off right now and get it served up. Lots of pretty colors in that chili from the beans, from the tomatoes, from the chilies. Smells absolutely fantastic. That's a much heartier chili than those competition chili recipes where they don't have those fresh ingredients and they don't have those beans. If you want to see those competition chili recipe videos and our other chili recipe videos, go ahead and click that playlist down below. If you don't want to miss any of our other videos, go ahead and click my face to subscribe. Jason Cadall, TQ Barbecue, and I'll see you on the next one.